Okay, so we're doing some blackout stuff. This is I'm going to categorize as blackout fails. We do have a bit of a question before we get to the tattoos today. I feel like this could lead to a blackout fail, so <laughs> I've included it here. All right, so it says World Blackest Ink Blackout. It's from Barasco. Um, it says, hey, hey. I remember that guy, Semple, made the blackest paint and wondered if you know anyone who ever used his blink for a tattoo slash blackout. Um, I'm pulling a bit of crazy, giving it a shot on a small part of my armpit that wasn't finished. It's pen ink. Uh, prison tattoos used to be, still are, pen ink. Not sure if anyone will read this, but I'm going to update this red with before, during, and after pics just for kicks. Ink will arrive in about two weeks. Picks to follow. Thanks. So it doesn't look like we have picks yet. No, there's no picks yet. And I don't think that this is a great idea, to be um, quite honest. Not for a blackout. That, yeah, well, at all. I don't <laughs> think I don't think that it's wise to be using just anything in your body. Now, I push back a lot on inks being very dangerous for you. I think I would be dead if that were true. That being said, I don't want to start putting just anything in me. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? It's so, not like, well, they've got a bucket of sewage over there. We may as well give that a whirl. <laughs> um, in in uh, art school, a big thing was uh, everybody would tattoo themselves with India ink. Um, was a big one that they would use. I don't know why India ink was the ink of choice, but that, that was the one. Um, I think in prison they use ash um, quite often. Mm. Like charcoal, like they'll like burn and they'll make their ink that way um i don't think any of them are advisable to put in your body for sure i think tattoo ink is is um you know pretty smartly done mm, i mean it's hasn't killed me yet. Uh, not yet that being said like i said i'm not really willing to experiment with just anything either so i'm not i don't know anyone who has and i'm not i'm not a proponent of the idea <laughs> All right, so the next one. Yeah, it's um, just a message in a different language. Yeah, blackout fail from Colombia. Is this yep. the blackout fail? Yeah, this is the blackout fail. All right, fail. so we will look at this horrible blackout fail. I'm sorry that I couldn't read um, his little message there because it wasn't in English. Uh, it's not our language that yeah. we speak, so <laughs> it's no um, worries there. This looks pretty gnarly, though. Uh, Yeah, this looks pretty chewed up, but... Yeah, this looks pretty pulverized. Like, it's definitely overworked. Yeah, I was going to say someone overworked your arms so much. Again, I think they probably bit mm. off more than they could chew. But uh, budding and fe like, I don't know that they did too much. I think they just spent too long in the same areas and didn't know what the fuck they were doing. Yeah. And uh, now we have this. And this is going to look a whole lot worse before it looks better. Oh, yeah. Now you're going to lose a lot. Well, of course you're going to lose a lot. But, I mean, the infection is currently busting open and... And it's going to bust open in more places mm -hmm. if this isn't treated. Now, I'm sure it was, but, like, to give you an idea, this stuff that's happening on the front here is also going to start happening everywhere else. You can kind of see that it's going to, too. Yeah. There's a, a lot of little pock marks, and I wouldn't be surprised if they find little spots all over their body that start getting little pockets yeah, this just for no reason. Yeah, this is not just... Quite often, this is not just in the area. Mm -hmm. It travels th all throughout you, and it spreads fast when it's like this. Well, yeah, and, and uh, just like the craziest little things become signs like you uh, you get an upset stomach, you feverish, like things yep. that you wouldn't think are related to this or actually related to this. Yeah, so um, this is, yeah, pretty nasty stuff. I would have liked to have seen a few more pictures of it just for the, the science of it, not because this is so appetizing. But, you know, I don't got a lot for this other than that this got worse before it got better. Yeah, I always want to see how it turned out after it healed up properly um, just so that we can, you know, judge it. Well, this is uh, kind of what, we, what we're looking at, I believe. I think this is the same cat. Just looks like a different part of the arm. Well, this is what I'm saying, though. This is like... It happens. Yeah. <laughs> it travels. So this one, yeah, this is a more healed one, but yeah. this is still not tattooable. No, not at all. Like not that yet. pinkness, definitely. The pink has to go away before you can tattoo over. Yeah, so these, I, I'd give it a quite a nice long time. If, the, if these it were uh, these scars, they turn to like a white, yellowy kind of texture after a while, whereas they like when they're still healing, they're kind of fleshy pink. 
and uh, all the color is gone when they go that deep because the infection kind of pulls all the ink out in the places that's worst. Now that being said, if you get the ink in deep enough, there might still be something there through it, uh, an, in, an infection, but for the most part, you're going to have some of this if you have an infection. I wonder if it's like your white blood cells actually break down the ink better in those areas because of the infection, because they're working hard well, it's to get all, rid of it. The ink is all contaminated. Yeah. That's well, the that's, way the body sees it, right? Yeah. It's like, oh, I have to get rid of this. What the science is there, I'm quite curious. I mean, I would love to know the science, but um, I've seen it happen enough times that anecdotally I just trust that it does happen. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't need a lab tech to tell me why necessarily but it would be kind of cool to know yeah um yeah yeah pretty gnarly mm -hmm. ah, so here's another big email this one's from david it says blackout fail um hi remy i share my history of blackout fail i had some tattoos that i wanted to cover so i decided to get a blackout of all my left arm um in two sessions we covered all the arm however much of the previous tattoo was still visible like three weeks later the artist recommended another session to cover again uh, in this session the artist generated some injuries that generated wounds that made a scar tissue leaving these white spots unfortunately there was no infection or fortunately huh? unfortunately <laughs> sorry guy uh in addition to that there are spaces that were not tattooed well and have other shades of black uh that doesn't look good apparently he was not very experienced in blackout as he said i followed all his recommendations in the healing process in the tattoo sessions and it ends like this do you recommend doing a third uh, arm blackout session with another artist obviously how long after the last blackout should i wait to do another one uh thank you very much i'm your fan uh so let's take a look Ooh, so yeah yeah so like for most tattoos i do say just three weeks and for me i would be able to hit this in three weeks but for the average tattoo user i would recommend between five weeks to two months for second pass on blackouts just because not everybody knows the drill with full saturation and it's a lot to heal and uh you'd rather not be taking chances if you don't have to no that's what i think too i wouldn't want to take chances that being said like this looks like it's ready for another pass mm. and uh i wouldn't go back to him again um i think that he did an all right job in a way like this, this would have been all right if you were doing like a normal tattoo with just small areas of black, but like for just saturation, that's a whole different thing. Mm -hmm. And it's something that people don't realize because they think, oh, well I put black in lots of tattoos. Yeah. I can do more of that. But they don't realize that when you work the body this hard um, and this big of a space, you can do a lot of damage to someone that you wouldn't normally be doing to them in regular black packing. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to approach it differently. You have to kind of know the warning signs that the body's showing you. And like, um, also I think that there's something when you're covering old work where it's like, you might not be able to get that perfect the first time. And if you try, you're gonna do more harm than good. Mm -hmm. And a lot of guys have seen too many one shot black art sleeves on social media. Let me give you a little hint. Uh, the best black workers are not posting every black sleeve they do. They're not. They post maybe one thing a week. How many of those fucking tattoos do you think they churn out in a week? Oh, They're only posting the best ones. True. Like every other tattoo artist. That doesn't mean that Hood is doing a perfect blackout sleeve every day in one shot. It's not how it goes. I guarantee you for every one that works, there's probably five to ten that don't work perfect. Yeah, we're just showing the weird, best weird stuff going well, on everywhere on social media we present only the best of yeah and i think it's important to remember that well we don't remember that we just see that and we go wow i want that you know so that's what's you know i think spurs people into thinking i can do a black sleeve in one or two sessions realistically most people should be doing these in four sessions mm -hmm. 
Most artists should be applying them in four sessions. Most clients should be getting them in four sessions. Unless you're doing this kind of work every day, I don't recommend trying to do it in one to two sessions. No, definitely not. That's There's just crazy. too much that can go wrong. And if they had have done this in smaller chunks, I don't feel like they would have had this, this result. Yeah, patience is good. Yeah, it's not. There's nothing wrong with taking your time. More often than not, when you're doing a black sleeve, you're already you've already fucked up once. So take your time and do it right. Now you're covering it. So that that's my thing. And it, but I wouldn't say you should go back to this guy. I do think you should. Now that you have all this scar tissue, it's going to be even harder to cover up. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'd go to someone else. I would. I would shop around. Mm -hmm. So, but it can definitely be fixed. Um. So this is. Uh, this is a one that was sent to us already. Yeah. We've seen this one, and he just showed us the healed. Oh, awesome. I thought, I was just thinking that that looks completely familiar. Yeah, so um, this is what we have for the healed. No, no, actually, you know, uh, they didn't lose as much as I thought they were going to. It looks like it was dotted in. <laughs> it's really funny looking. Yeah. You can see every mag strip. You can see almost where the needles touch down. Yeah. It's not smooth. <laughs> Like this is worse than than I thought it would be, actually. Not not the infected part. Oh, but like, like you mean all this on the side? Or? No, no. So like all this oh, texture okay. in the oh, black. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's so waffly, right? It looks like peppered in there. Yeah, I hope that uh, I hope that they're uh, able to correct that eventually. I feel for you. You can see where this wasn't blended. Yep. Right. They, oh yeah, I see the you lines. You see the, as well. the lines yep. where the mag didn't get in there. It's like they were rushing through, which is odd because parts of it were overworked. I know. It's really odd. Like, if you don't know what you're doing with your mag, you're really going to see it in a blackout because it's just it's just that solid sheet, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to see every little problem in there. Yeah, I just thought he was going to lose more of the uh, pigment. No, this is spot. a pretty this is a pretty surface. Yeah, um, you had this, said that too yeah. in the original video. This is a fairly surface uh, infection. Like yeah. people will come in here sometimes with like an infection or something, um, and it's like you can tell where it is in the skin. Yeah. Almost by the look of it, like Dave Dr. that Remy. time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, no, like like people, but people see pus and they're like, but it's not that deep. You're not going to lose that much if no, it goes yeah. super deep. Then you're going to lose more. Like that first one we looked at. Yeah. Then you're going to lose almost all your pigment. I'll never get over the time that we went to the doctor and you had an, a tattoo infection. She's a young doctor and she poked you a couple times, scratched your head and looked at you and said, do you think it's infected? And you were like, yeah. And she's like, okay. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but It was pretty funny. Less than the, more than the infection losing those parts. The worst part of this is the mag lines, the stripping. Those are only going to look worse in time. Agreed. Like, that's going to be real dark in places and real light in places eventually. Yeah. So, so, like, give it some time and hit it again, hey? Yeah, the whole thing needs to be blended for sure. So. Yeah. 